Hey guys, how are ya? My name is Sound of a Gap and this is Mass Effect Andromeda. And we're back with Capote and his adventures in the Andromeda Galaxy. But before we continue, let's take a look at what happened previously. I want to believe in this alliance, Pathfinder. The Moshai says you're trustworthy. Please, help me trust in you. Show me how your skills handle the tests of a Heskal recruit. Challenge yourself and teach me. I wouldn't interfere with your life. W what happens with me stays with me. Okay. But if you want to share your heart, I'd like that. Once the documentary's finished. Okay, let's wait until then. <laughs> then I'll be patient. It'll be something to look forward to. You know, there's room for two. Oh yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> That's all I need to hear. The vaults. They're a network, as you discovered. However... They're not connected to each other, but to this place. This image was on a relic the Archon showed me. He called it Meridian. I'll transmit my files on Kadara port to your ship. Our traitor could have useful information. We need him alive. Mm -hmm. That's up to him. Be safe, Pathfinder. As for you, Ephra, we're not done. Mm -hmm. And here's where Capote's adventure continues. Oh! There's a side mission over here. Let's go and get that, and then we'll continue. All right, what do you need, Mariko? When you have a moment, Pathfinder, this is a tremendous honor. I must express my admiration for all you've done. Oh, thank you. Crossing the void between galaxies, navigating the Scourge to find Aya. Incredible. The odds were against us, that's for sure. Yet here we are. Strangers from different galaxies conversing in friendship. Extraordinary. I am Mariko Darej, Chief Phoneron. Um, I'm gonna go for an honor because he was so polite. It's a privilege to meet you. Tell me about yourself. I'm something of a pathfinder myself. Mm -hmm. I'm a celestial observer, charting the movements of stars, planets, and the Scourge. An astronomer? You know the safe routes out there? We deploy satellites that alert us to new hazards and opportunities. But we've lost contact with several key observers. They've simply stopped. I sent a vessel to scan their last known locations, but nothing's been found. Your Tempest is highly advanced. I hoped you could aid our search. Of course. What do you need? Even Pathfinders need a good map. I'll look into it. I knew you'd understand. I'll provide search nav points. And when I can finally reconcile our charts with fresh satellite data, I'll gladly share all we have. Okay, this doesn't sound too difficult. Let's do this. Investigate the first missing satellite nav point. This might be just uh, on the galaxy map. And from there we have to just fly there and that's, that's that. Hopefully. Director Tan, good news. The Angara opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is a surprise. What are their expectations? Come on, show them respect. They survived the Scourge and the Ket, and rebuilt their civilization. Don't forget it. Appeal to their pride. Sensible. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. Okay. So... Let's take a look where we need to go. You need to find the first satellite. On ah, okay. Probes launched. Anomaly found. According to that astronomer on Aya, a satellite should be here. I'm not detecting anything. If it was here, it's gone. You mean destroyed? I mean, gone. Destruction would leave debris. We've got nothing. Let's try another nav point. This is the nav point provided by Mariko Darej, but there is neither evidence of a satellite nor debris from one. Okay, so we need to find another one. Investigate the second missing satellite nav point. Okay, it's not on here. It's not in here. It has to be somewhere else. Sabang. I'm 
picking up something. Here. Deploying probe. Getting a scan. You're sure that astronomers' nav points are correct? He seemed to think so. There's nothing out here. The Scourge didn't swallow a satellite whole. You can't do that, right? I'll let you know. Let's check other nav points. Mm hmm. This nav point does not contain an Angaran satellite, but there are trace radioactive particles consistent with those produced by small starship's engine thrusters. Investigate the third missing satellite nav point, which is over here in at Yoba. Down here. Sometimes I can already tell where it is. <laughs> ah, there's one. Let me guess. No Angaran satellite? No, but I've got something else. Message buoy from an Angaran ship. They came here looking and didn't find anything either. Left a marker for us. Must be the team our astronomer sent. They headed to a new nav point. We should join the party. <laughs> This com buoy is set for extremely short range transmission, likely as a security precaution. Only a vessel searching its precise nav point can detect the message. Alright. Travel to the Angaran vessel's nav point. Where is that? Oh. Here. Govacom, I haven't been here before and I'm still missing I think three or four planets. Gavorkim, okay. Besides being a haven for Nexus exiles, what do we know about this place? A group of exiles called the Outcast liberated Kadara port from the Ket. Until recently, their power was absolute. But a new gang, the Collective, has been chipping it away. Real shady bastards led by an unknown called the Charlatan. Well, with luck, they'll be too busy shooting at each other to notice us. <laughs> okay, but before we do that. There's something over here. Probes launched. Anomaly found. A starship wreckage. The paltry remains of a cat dropship. Whoever destroyed it thoroughly scavenged its parts. But perhaps there's something they missed. Yeah, a little bit of something. That's good. Uh, let's go over here and scan Bucker. Okay, there's nothing here. Uh, disputes among exiles break out frequently over Bucker. The gas giant is useful for ships looking to replenish their helium-3 supplies and thus a resource to be claimed. Okay, Trobro, wait, a mine? Anomaly detected. Okay, Cobalt and Boron are among the resources available on the Apply, 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 if unimaginatively named mine. Workers struggle under heavy gravity and frigid temperatures to bring their prices home. Probes launched. I found something. What did you find, my girl? Uh, dense and radioactive metals make portions of mine difficult to scan. This mountain, thick with valuable materials, had gone undiscovered until our arrival. Great. Just XP? Really? Okay. Next one, Trobroa. Loosely, <coughs> sorry, 
loosely translated, Chobroa is the Krogan word for cinder or ash heap. This massive desert world harbors no life, water, or minerals of any use. Okay, this one is really useless. Speak with Dr. Aridana. Later. Let's go here. Thivenos. A massive ball of rock and frozen methane. Thivenos has little apparent material or scientific value. Would be miners from Kadara keep scanning it just in case. Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. A metal ideal for lightweight construction in a variety of applications. This deposit is readily accessible. Beryllium. Nice. <clears throat> So that's that. We have been over to every other place. Let's go here to Kadara. Where we actually wanted to go. Now orbiting Kadara. Nice. Standing order for all incoming ships. The port is a ceasefire zone by order of Sloan Kelly. She was head of Nexus security. Be ready for anything. And keep comms open. Should hear from our resistance contact soon. Alright. Um, a mountainous world originally settled by the Angara. Kadara is now a haven for Nexus exiles and pirates. In addition to this criminal element, the planet is plagued by toxic water caused by an atypical amount of sulfite minerals. And as I can see, we have three missions here. Um, and this will even be the main mission. Let's back out for now. Talk to Sam on the Tempest. Ha! Ah, okay. Yeah, let's back out for now. And exit. Let's talk to Sam. Wait. Oh, communication from Jal. Ryder, the Moshai sent some news from Aya that she asked me to share with you. Under her guidance, officials are again allowing study in the Aya Vault. It comes with a great risk, of course, so she's restricting participation to her brightest students, under armed guard. Although she doesn't have your ability to interface with the Remnant, she wants to be ready to assist you, however she can, once Meridian is found. These are interesting and exciting times, Jal. She's fond of you, truly. I haven't heard her talk like this about someone in a long while. She didn't ask me to tell you this last part. I just thought you should know. Thanks, Jal. Alright, uh, Sam is... Where was Sam? Pathfinder, I've retrieved actionable intel from the security bit of Spender. What did you find? Updating your system with the nav point. Investigate Spender's Kadara connection. Which will be probably on Kadara itself, right? Let's go back to the Nexus, speak to her, and then we will go to Kadara. Doctor! Of course, there are probably more than a few miles. Better than hell. But our mapping of Helios is complete for now. We can see how the Scourge perturbs orbital patterns, compresses space. And makes the pirates crazy by the <laughs> Acceptable nav upgrades, of course. Pardon me, Miss Anwar. I have some programming to do. Aha. Uh -huh. My model of Helios blossoms with data thanks to you. Here, please. You have earned this. I've earned what? I'll look at the growth patterns. What did I earn? I. What? I didn't get anything. Oh, this happens so often. I think Lexi wanted to speak to you. Really? Lexi. Okay. Met Bay. Ah, oh, there we go. Ida. Sorry for the mess. Who's your friend? An exalted cat. I called Jarl to show him. Ah, oh, there he is. Jarl, look at this. There's 
there's nothing Angara inside. Oh. The physical can be deceiving. I've run hundreds of tests. Only traces of the Angara genome remain. The exalted are kept. There must be a way to fix them. Hmm. I don't want him to lose hope, so let's do this. Anything's possible. We just have to keep trying. Even from mistakes, we can learn. Thank you, Ryder. What? Jal needs to accept that exaltation is permanent. You're making his grief worse. Well, that wasn't my intention. I didn't think about it like that. Because you see him as a friend, not a patient. True. That's why I'm here. To observe and treat. Jarl is part of this crew. His welfare is my responsibility. Okay. Uh, not yours alone. But you're doing well. Yeah. Let's do this. I know this job was a surprise. But you've really stepped up. And look. You got your cat sample. Their bodies are unlike anything I've seen. Centuries of gene stealing. Crafted evolution. It's horrible, of course. But also fascinating. Glad you're settling in. Sink or swim, right? <laughs> I should probably clean this up before it starts to smell. Interesting. Really interesting. Right, but now we will go back to Kadara. Now orbiting Kadara. Yep. Alright, as soon as we land, I will take a look at the map. And then we will see which one of those three uh, missions we will do first. That looked like a black hole, didn't it? Incoming call. Patching it through. There's been a development regarding the spy Ventureb. Rendezvous at Crawler Song. Your contact's code name is Shayna. Shayna. Got it. Let's see if I can remember that. Or if I have to remember that. Exiles have stepped up their game since the revolt. Oh. Not too shabby for folk who got kicked off the station with nothing to show for exactly it. Exactly my thought. Exactly what I was thinking of. I thought, like, this is a pretty great place for pirates and exiles. Um, we should be allies. They don't deserve admiration. Uh... We should be allies. Maybe we can get them back on our side. We know they can fight Cat. Our supplier's waiting. Come on, we're gonna be late. Do I even want to know? Nope. Okay. Wherever they are going to, speak to the resistance contact at Carla's song. And it looks like I have to do that first because it's the only mission on the map so far. So let's take a look around and go that way. Oh. We'll find a way. We always do. Let's talk to the guard. No more talking. I'm sick of your Dude, I want to talk to you. What are you doing to these people? Nothing they weren't expecting. Court's got two rules. No guns and pay your protection fees. Protection fees? What are you, the mob? Ha! <laughs> <coughs> Other way around. Outcasts of the law in Kadara. You got a problem with that? You can join these assholes. Pathfinder, it will be difficult to find the spy if you're barred from the city. Well, that's true. Guess that's true. What was that? Nothing. Nothing. I'll be on my <laughs> way. <laughs> Creep. I would hit you if I could. Same with you, guy. <sighs> All this violence. 
Another data pad. Personal log, Jun Seonno. Detailed drawing of a manta. New entry. For the first time in, I guess, 600 years, I feel like I can breathe. Sure, the air smells like shit, but I've got a roof over my head and food in my gut. No more running. No more Armageddon planet after Armageddon planet. I can finally just explore. That was the whole point, right? We're gonna start with figuring out the migration patterns of those Manta creatures. Maybe Ligur knows. This is her home planet after all. Why would a message like that just lay around here? Same with that, and here's a terminal. Prisoner record, Ven Teref. Oh, we are looking for this one. Uh, Angara, Death Birth Unknown, Vault, BBB. Reason for incarceration, treason, aiding and abetting cat. Remarks, high pain tolerance, even for a spy. Four interrogation, interrogation sessions and still no usable data on the cat. Sentenced to death by Sloan Kelly. Sloan Kelly. That name rings a bell. I think he was one of the exiles, right? The one who led the exiles? Prisoner record, Garten Pala. A Solarian. Uh, also treason, aiding and debating the collective. Remarks, codename Lacerta, a representative of the charlatan. Committed suicide before final sentencing. Okay. And Tessie Fassinth. An, an Asari. So we got everything. An Asari, a Solarian, and an Angara. <laughs> uh, incarceration for smuggling. Tried to bypass mandatory tax. Sentenced to three broken fingers. <laughs> okay. Uh, I won't get inside there. Oh, data pad. Report Quartermaster McAfee. Ketus. I caught two more recruits rifling through the stock. We need locks. Don't give a shit if it sends a message of distrust. I don't trust them. Three crates of good ale have gone missing this month alone. One of these assholes is to blame. We might all wear the same colors, but these rookies aren't of the same caliber as you and me. McAfee. Alrighty. You are the quartermaster? Okay. Is there something else? Cat fighter model. I'll take it. I wasn't here. You didn't see anything. How are we supposed to survive out there? Not my problem. You're no better than the Nexus. Don't blame us because Kit made these. <laughs> Clown's not running a fucking charity. Alright, what do we have here? Collective recruiter. Can we talk? Pathfinder. Interested in the collective services? How do you know who I am? The Collective makes a point of knowing everything and everyone worth knowing in Helios. You sound more like information brokers than pirates. The two aren't mutually exclusive. Mm-hmm. Um... What's the Collective? I'm having trouble nailing down what the Collective is, exactly. Understandable. We aren't one thing. Think of us as a service provider. We cater to our clients' needs. Even if that means killing and stealing from people. Survival is an ugly business, Pathfinder, but unlike the outcasts, we aren't governed by hate. If the initiative proved reasonable, I'm sure the charlatan would be willing to work with Nexus. All right, tell me about the charlatan. Who is the charlatan? No one seems to have a straight answer. The charlatan is our leader and a private individual. Even I haven't seen him in person. You take orders from a stranger? I've met representatives, people who speak for the charlatan and carry out their will. Whoever the charlatan is, man or woman, they provide information, care, resources. It's ours. That's enough for me. Hmm. Would be funny if there would if there would not be a charlatan at all, but just an organization who are saying, "Oh, there's a person who is a leader, but there actually is no leader, and you are working for somebody who isn't there." Um, okay, you are the Outcasts' rivals? What's going on between the Collective and the Outcasts? Officially, nothing. Unofficially? Lines are being drawn, Pathfinder. That's all I can say. Yeah, rules and regulations. As always. How do I join? Although I don't want to join. Let's say I was interested in joining your little gang. How would I do that? 
You're more high profile than our usual members, but it's up to the charlatan who joins. If you have potential, our leader will reach out to you, usually through a representative. And then what? For some, that's it. Others may have to pass a test. It's different for every recruit. Well, you don't have a standardized recruiting process. Everybody gets treated differently. That's not good. Thanks for your time. Of course, Pathfinder. Of course. Aha. Just some info. Oh yeah, music. Okay, okay. Wait for contact. Hey! Piss off. You ordered, you pay. I said. You look like you're waiting for someone. That obvious? I've got time for a drink. Shayna, but you can call me Reyes. I hate code names. Mm -hmm. I was expecting someone more. And, and female, actually. Uh -oh. The resistance pays me to supply information, among other things. So you're a smuggler. Your man, Venterev, was arrested by Sloane Kelly, leader of the outcasts. Word spread about what he did to Moshe Sefer. The people are calling for his execution. And Sloane? <laughs> She's a woman of the people. Hmm. Yeah, not how I would put it. Dress it up however you want. She's a criminal. You work for the Initiative. Sloane was part of the uprising on the Nexus. I doubt she'll give Ven up easily. Everyone has a price, yeah. Maybe she'll agree to a deal. There might be another way to get to Ven. You work Sloane. I'll talk to the Resistance. About what? How do I contact you if things go south? That's not an answer either! Dude! Hey, you gotta pay. I didn't buy anything! Keep the change. Always do. What? He just bought the drink and I have to pay? Are you kidding? Uh, meet Sloan Kelly in the Outcast headquarters on Kadara Port. Mind your damn manners. Shut up. You don't tell me what to do. Why are you pushing me? Oh, I'm getting angry with those fools. Focus defenses here and here. The cat have been quiet for too long. You're Sloane? What? <laughs> I'll go for that. That's quite the throne. Should I bow? Kiss your ring? <laughs> Very funny. So... What brings a Pathfinder to our humble port? Venterev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? And don't lie to me. All right, let's be honest. I need him so I can infiltrate a Ket flagship. You've obviously got no love for the Ket. I'm doing you a favor. Kadara is an Angaran port. They want Ven dead, and I want to keep them happy. This is bigger than local politics. You don't need Ven. You need his intel. Talk to him before I put his head on a spike. <sighs> okay. I can work with that. See? No reason we can't be civilized. I should have brought refreshments.
Uh, interrogate Ventref. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Uh, Kitas. You're not what I expected, Pathfinder. Who are you? I get that a lot. Hmm. Hmm. Keep staying on Sloan's good side, and I'll be really impressed. Uh, what's your role? Yeah, that's a good question. Are you Sloan's second in command? She calls me her right hand Tyrion. I keep the wheel from squeaking. Uh, okay, so you're part of the uprising? Did you switch sides with Sloan during the mutiny? I came over on Ark Natanis. Never stepped foot on the Nexus. I ran into some Natanis survivors on Havarl. They're still alive. <laughs> Must be Rix's doing. You know Avidus? We've crossed paths. Okay, tell me about you and Sloan. You and Sloan seem close. What about it? Nothing. Just wondering what's the story there. We met on the Citadel. She punched me in the face when I offered to buy her a drink. <laughs> Seriously? No. Mind your own business, Pathfinder. Okay, I don't like you. Uh, but one more thing. The Collective seems powerful. The Collective is making waves in Kadara Port. What's the Outcast's plan to stay on top? By not telling our strategies to strangers. <sighs> okay, fuck off. See you around, Kytus. Don't want to talk, just say that. Okay, guys, let me through. I need to... Rules first. Rules first? Don't feed the prisoner. Don't touch the prisoner. And the only thing that passes between you two are words. Got it? Absolutely. I won't cause trouble. If he's in a cell or some, of some sort, there might be even an exchange of air. And CO2. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's not only words that passes through. And there's nobody else here, so can I can I close the door actually? No, I can't. What do you want? The Archon's ship. Where is it? Is this a new interrogation tactic? Sloan's getting lazy. I don't answer to Sloan. I'm a Pathfinder with the initiative. The one who rescued the most shot. Correct. I know who you are and what happened on Vold. Then help me. You can still make this right, Ven. Tell me what I need to know. <laughs> Making it right won't save my life. But it could save others. The Archon's ship. Where is it? I never saw it. Got my orders from a Ket transponder. But you could use its frequency to triangulate the Archon's location. Do you still have it? I buried it before I was arrested. Should still be outside the city. Thanks for the intel. Don't you want to know why I did it? Why I betrayed the Moshai? I'd like to know. Enlighten me. We're losing the war against the Ket. And still, Ephra puts my brothers and sisters in danger to protect a useless old woman. <laughs> That's harsh. So you took things into your own hands. I made the call he wouldn't. The Archon only wanted the Moshai. I thought if I gave her up... Uh, I didn't know what the Ket were doing to my people. Hmm... But I think if he would know, he wouldn't have been a traitor, so let's go for that. You resent Ephra, so the Archon used that against you. If Ephra was a better leader... It doesn't yeah, matter. he's a shitty leader. And I'll accept the consequences. Retrieve the cat transponder from the Badlands. Guys, did I do anything wrong? No. Pathfinder, the communicator is buried outside the ceasefire zone. I suggest bringing a squad. Mm-hmm. Vetra, Drac, are you back from whatever it was you were doing? Yep, our completely legitimate business deal went off without a hit. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Benefit of bringing a Krogan along. Tell Gil to prep the Nomad. I need to go outside the city. So we're gonna do this first. Let's just deselect that. Can I... 
I can't? Great. Um, yeah, let's go here and there and then go on. Oh, you guys again. You've all seen a dead body before. He's dead? Are you kidding? Deceased Angara. Blood alcohol levels show the victim was intoxicated at the time of death. He's Angaran. There are multiple lacerations on the face and abdomen. Another body? I don't get paid enough for this shit. There's been more than one murder? Seven by my count. Seven? That's all I know. Perhaps Mr. Vidal would have more information, Pathfinder. Mm hmm. So, next up is that one. This is somewhere maybe inside here. Oh, here. You okay? What? Oh, yeah, of course. If you get whatever it is off your chest, you might feel better. Doubtful, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> I joined the outcasts a few weeks ago. Titus tasked me with collecting protection fees. Thought it'd be easy. But we talked to so many people. I got the names mixed up and banished someone who paid their fee. They didn't protest it? Of course, she did. But they all do. We don't really listen. R seriously? You just kicked her out. No questions asked. You don't have to guilt trip me. I thought about looking for her. But I can't risk Titus finding out I screwed up. I need this job to feed my little brother. Our mom's still in cryo on the Nexus. He's got no one else. <laughs> nice sob <soft> story. <laughs> nah, I'm not that. I'm not that cruel. Leave it to me. I'm gonna take care of that. I'll look for her. Just tell me her name and any clues about where she might be. Remy Tamayo. She would have gone to the slums for processing. After that, no idea. Uh, the warden might know. Everyone who's banished to Badlands goes through him. Speak to the warden. That should be nearby, right? Still says that terminal. That's not correct. That can't be the way to go. Ah, oh, actually, it has. To, this is the way to go because everything else is not in the city. It's all outside. There's another mission over here. Speak to Reyes about murders. All right, that's it so far. Let's go left first. And then probably here, and then oh, first there. Well, we'll see. Let's just go here first. Over there. Oh, here. Digital scar. You look well enough. My patients are usually leaking from somewhere. <laughs> I'm definitely not leaking. No leaking here. Just seeing all Kadara has to offer. A tourist, huh? Pathfinder, actually. One survived. Could have used you when we got to Helios. Dr. Ryota Nakamoto. I used to work as the outcast's physician. Quit after Sloan turned what should have been a medical breakthrough into a drug. That's not nice of her. I thought she was supposed to be a woman of the people. She's whatever she needs to be to stay in power. When we arrived on Kadara, I found a local string of bacteria that shares properties with penicillin. Quite the find. It was, until I discovered the drug is addictive and induces hallucinations in large doses. Ooh. I took my concerns to Sloan. All she saw was an opportunity to make a profit. Called the drug Oblivion. <laughs> but beyond stealing back my formula, there's no way to stop her. Hmm. Easy enough. I'm gonna do that. So let's steal the formula. Are you crazy? It's heavily guarded. I'm a doctor. I don't know how to fight. Ha, huh, we do. <laughs> the formula's in my old lab. Please don't get killed trying to fix my mistake. Okay. Go to Dr. Nakamoto's old lab. Okay, we'll do that in a bit. Let's just talk a little bit more. Pathfinder. Uh, what are your thoughts on Kadara? How do you like Kadara? It's not the worst planet in Helios, but it has its troubles, mainly the water. What's wrong with the water? It's toxic, fatally. Notice all the pipes running through the port? An old Angaran irrigation system. In the Badlands, people have to filter water manually. Leaves a much larger margin of error. 
the majority of my patients suffer from either gunshot wounds or water poisoning. Hmm. Um, what's your story? This can't be what you expected when you decided to come to Andromeda. It is and it isn't. I joined the initiative to save lives. Traveling to a new galaxy is dangerous. I knew I'd be needed. Just didn't think I'd be helping people out of a shipping container. How is it working for Sloan? What was it like working for Sloan? I was well fed and equipped. Sloan cares about her crew. But... Outcast tactics are ruthless. Murder, mutilation, beatings, all a daily occurrence. I didn't sign up for that. You must have known things would get violent when you joined the uprising. Mm, I didn't join the uprising. I joined my patients. I couldn't let them leave the Nexus without a doctor. So you don't hate the initiative? Hate is a useless emotion, as is regret. <laughs> we must make the best of our situation, that's all. Okay. Uh, funding for the clinic, let's talk about that. How does a free clinic stay in business here? Anonymous donations, from the charlatan, no doubt. Beggars can't be choosers. You've got something against the charlatan? Same thing I have against Sloan. All they care about is profit and control. My business is people. Hmm, okay, thanks. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks. Lots to do. All right. And now... Uh, let's speak to Reyes about the murders first. It's upstairs and there. Okay. Disillusioned outlaw. Hey, you there. You're that initiative big shot, aren't you? Depends. Who's asking? Maybe. Maybe not. Do I owe you credits? Ah, you're a playful one. I like that. You could say I'm disillusioned with the exiles. People here can't be trusted. Sooner stabby in the back than work together. So, I got no love for any of them. They don't deserve you. <laughs> Damn straight. Outlaws got innovative ways of putting stuff together. I bet a smart one like you could learn a lot from scrutinizing our, uh, stuff. You should check out Outlaw Tech and Materials. Might learn a few things. You remember who gave you the skinny on that. What? Craft the weapon at the research center. Aha. Uh, where is this guy? Ha! Huh? Oh, a data pad. Okay. Sanjeev Clement, last words. Delaney Roos, the exile, took me from Nexus against my will. When I wouldn't cooperate, she and her friends beat me and left me here to die. I have no way to contact anyone. I hope my mates on Nexus make it. Damn the exiles. Sanjeev Clement. Terrible way to die. DNA verifies identity as Sanjeev Clement, Nexus civilian. Cause of death, bodily blunt force trauma. Died from internal bleeding. Too bad, buddy. Too bad. What's this? Yo, Iridium. Kian Dagger? Who are you? What's your poison? Uh, whatever's potable. <laughs> I'm not picky. My kind of customer. Drinking on the job. Right. First round's on me. More reputable than my usual clientele. Okay, uh, let's talk about the body core. Your bar has a unique design. Something tells me these cages aren't just decorative. They're for your protection as much as ours. Trust me, my employees can take care of themselves. Guessing you had issues? Outlaws and pirates aren't known for their manners. Some customers got rowdy and ended up losing fingers. The bars won't stop a bullet. But it's a clear warning to keep your hands to yourself. Do you have trouble with outlaw gangs? The outcasts or the collective giving you any trouble? Not really. They tend to shoot each other in remote places where no one's looking. That won't last forever. All it takes is one wrong move and things get ugly. What will you do then? Board up the place and hold out till the smoke clears. Uh, what's the life after the Nexus? What was it like after leaving the Nexus? Oh, it was lovely. One big, smelly mutineer party. Your sarcasm survived the trip. <laughs> what can I say? It sucked. They had limited supplies and nowhere to go. Kadara's paradise in comparison. Even 
even with this shite water. Okay, that's all. I'll let you get back to it. <sighs> Never enough drinks to pour. Actually, I didn't really listen. I was just listening to the music and dancing in my seat. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what the hell? Okay. It looks like they are on some serious drugs. I can dance. Sure. <laughs> Wait, that's it? More. Okay, it's the same. <laughs> okay, what else? Um The battle. Ryder, glad you're here. I'm sure you've heard about the murders. That's the why I'm here. Outside crawlers. Some of the locals say it's the charlatan's handiwork. I don't buy it. The charlatan is discreet, careful. Whoever did this wanted the bodies found, mm -hmm. making a statement. But to who? Hmm. Sloan. Yeah. The killer could be unhappy with how Sloan's running things. Less than a third of the victims are outcasts. No. If I was the betting man, and I am, I'd say it was the Rokar. Why would Rokar be in Kadara port? My question exactly. It's Angaran built. And before Sloan, Angaran run. I think the Rokar came here looking for new recruits. And things got out of hand. What about the Angara victims? And the Angara victims? How do they fit into your theory? I did some digging. All of the deceased Angara were public Milky Way sympathizers. Mm -hmm. So the victims either were from the Milky Way or supported us. It's the only pattern I could find. You could be right. An Angara port run by aliens would be a prime target for their cause. Problem is, I've got no proof. And the Resistance doesn't want to antagonize the Rokar. Guessing that's where I come in. I need that fancy AI of yours to scan for evidence that could implicate the Rokar. People are scared, Ryder. This is your opportunity to win friends in Kadara port. Uh, I'm not fooling with guys. Uh, I'm a detective now, yes, I always wanted to be. Looks like I'm adding detective to my growing list of titles. Detectives find things, and you're... A pathfinder. Aww. Yeah, I got it. One of the crime scenes isn't far. Give me a call when you get there. 